Hey, nerd fighters. So, last week I forgot to, well, I didn't really forget. I was swamped. I had two papers due at the end of the week, um, right on Thursday and Friday, and I, I had a lot of work to do and not enough time to do it in, so I didn't get to post a video. So I might um, actually post an extra video maybe this weekend sometime to help make up for that. I wanted to talk about an interesting thing. A friend of mine and a professor of philosophy at the university I go to posted an article on Facebook today about the education system and uh, I found it really interesting and really relevant so I'm gonna talk about that today it's called the slow death of the university written by Terry Eagleton just published I believe this year on the Chronicle of Higher Education uh, April 6 2015 the article talks about the demise of education, the transition that education has made over the past several years from teaching to business. A nice quote I like from the article is, teaching has for some time been a less vital business in British universities than research. It is research that brings in the money, not the courses on expressionism or the reformation. Dr. Terry Eagleton is a very qualified professor. Um, he teaches at University of Lancaster, um, has his PhD from Oxford. He has experienced the transitions in education himself. Dr. Eagleton is talking mainly in his article about Great Britain and the changes in education over the past several years that have happened in the UK. But they also apply in the United States. He talks about how universities have become a business, not a working education. Universities have evidently, as Dr. Eagleton talks about, universities have become less about intellectual pursuits and more about business and making money. Um, he mentions a few American universities in his article, ones like MIT and Stanford. It applies to a lot. I, I personally have seen these. Um, I have seen several transitions since I've been in college, and, and it's scary. Students pay in the United States outrageous amounts of money for mediocre education. And when I say mediocre, I, I'm not specifically referring to a specific university. I'm talking um, on average, because we all know Ivy Leagues and, and the sister Ivy Leagues and, and such and such. They have they have their own brand of education, if you will. And it's, it's quite crazy. If you look at the education that the average student pays for at, say, a state school, the education is not even comparable to that of an Ivy League school or an international school like Oxford. Oxford. A lot of times in several international schools, for example, I've been told on multiple occasions in Germany, those that go to college in Germany have it paid for. And Dr. Eagleton makes that case in his article when he talks about Edinburgh College in Scotland. More universities need to be like this. Higher education need to be about intellectual pursuits. They need to be about learning and being a functional and beneficial part of society. It shouldn't be about how much money you have or how much money you can pay or what connections you have to the world. In my opinion, education has fallen so far. The education that we used to get in this country, even though the article is written about universities and the education system in the UK, it's very much applicable to universities in the United States. We have the same problems. Uh, it's not all easy. We pay exorbitant amounts of money for average education. It's not enough. That's just not good enough. The education in the United States is subpar and it needs to get better. If we want to be, if we want to be known as politicians, would like to put the best country in the world, we need to work on it. We need to fix the problems. And part of that problem is the education system. It doesn't just start when you get to college. It starts at ground level. It starts in elementary school or primary school and secondary school, which is middle school, high school, whatever you want to call it. Depends on where you're at and how your colloquial terms for it. It needs to change. The education that students get these days is not enough. It has to be fixed. I wanted to discuss the idea that education in this country is just not what it used to be. It's not what it needs to be, and something has to be done. I will see you guys later this week. Don't forget to be awesome. See you later, nerdfighters.